Former Deputy Commissioner Joe Sullivan joins us now on the phone. Joe, thank you much. Thank you so much for joining us. From the from the uh, reports of shots fired to right now, what is the process of this investigation? You know, I can't think of a more difficult crime scene than what they have on their hands right now. Uh, they know they had two officers shot. They don't know if it was a sniper from a high ground position or if it was someone shooting in the air. They're trying to determine that, but in the meantime, they have to hold this extremely large crime scene. You you had uh, literally. Uh, Tens of thousands of people evacuating the parkway and leaving all of their belongings behind. Bomb squad technicians are going to have to go through, sweep through all that property to make sure that there's nothing dangerous left behind. Um, it's going to be a long night. I know they're focusing on Parktown Place. Uh, so at some point, if they, if, they, if they have any reason to believe that the shooter is inside that location, that is a large building with hundreds of units. They're going to have to search it from the top down to the bottom, every unit, every office, every nook, every cranny to make sure that they account for all the residents, that everybody's safe, and that the shooter's not inside. I can tell you right now that Delaware and Valley Intelligence Center is scouring social media. Uh, they're listening to the 911 calls to see what information they can glean. If anybody out there has anything, any video, any audio, I, it, it seems to me the shooter purposely discharged when the fireworks were going off to, to mask what he was doing. Um, but if anybody has picked up any part of that, you know, I, I, I implore you to call the police. Mm. Um, one thing I know is that their partners from the ATF and the FBI are probably already on scene. Mm -hmm. um, they're going to help with this process, help with the recovery of ballistics and the analysis. Um, this is just very disturbing for our city. This is a great day in our city. It's a night we can always be proud of, and, and now right. it's been marred. Very disturbing indeed. Joe, Joe, I've always wondered, how do you train for something like this? We hear the stories all the time, but when, when it happens and you have to go into action, how difficult is it to train for something like this? Well, you know, it, you can only train so far. It goes to the... the, 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 the the dedication of the men and women that choose this profession, and that includes our firefighters that are out there, and they're unarmed, but they're out there side by side with us when something like this happens. But all Philadelphia police officers go through active shooter training, and that's mm -hmm. given by our SWAT unit, our experts, and it and it, it brings r real validity to the training. And the you know our officers enjoy the training, but it's also very serious, um, so that when something like this happens. The reaction is instinctive, and, and that's what, what separates police officers, that they run towards the gunshots and not away from them. But tonight had to be just an incredibly upsetting uh, a situation for, for, for both police and civilians because you don't know where they're coming from. You can't tell. You, you just know that you have to get away. You have children. We have families now that are separated from their children, and we're trying to do uh, unification. I mean, this is just about as bad as it, it could get, um, but I... There isn't a police department that's better prepared to handle it than the Philadelphia mm -hmm. Police Department. And I think that's what you're seeing right now. No doubt about that. What do you say to people who were out there, Joe, or if, and if it's something like this ever happens again, if, when it comes to crowd control, don't panic, listen to the police. What do you say to the people? Well, that's exactly it. I mean, just listen to the instructions that are given and, and follow them and just move. Walk fast. Don't run. The, the worst thing that can happen, if one person falls down, then that means that everyone is going to start tripping behind them and someone could be seriously injured. Um, I, 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 at this point, there's no reports of serious injuries uh, from the evacuation, so, so that says a lot to the, to, to the people that as they evacuated, they did so in a, in, a, in a manner that helping one another and being respectful of one another. Um, but that's the kind of crowd you get at 4th of July. That's what really hurts about this. Mm -hmm. It was always a night I enjoyed working. It was just a great night uh, for our city to, to shine um, and to showcase and now uh, some cowardly idiot has, has really put a damper on it. And it's gonna make people hesitate to come back. And um, that's something that, that we need we, we need to uh, get this person in custody as quickly as possibly. And he has to be, he or she has to be prosecuted to the full extent of the law um, so that people feel com comfortable. Because we, we can't allow the, this type of behavior to, 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 to keep us from enjoying uh, our, our beautiful city. We, we can't allow that to happen. Joe, I don't know if you can see your screen right now, uh, the police, the body language of the police officers. Uh, can you see your screen, first of all? Uh, no, I cannot. Well, right now the police officers are just walking through the street. I'm not sure if they're searching or it's a formation, but a, a number of police officers are walking right down the parkway at this stage of the game. It is 1130. This happened a, a little while ago. 
what are they continuing to do right now? I'm trying to trying to decipher the body language that I'm looking at. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I, obviously, officers have been organized in a line to walk down the parkway uh, and make sure that there are there are no victims. That 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 we're, we're not. You know, it, it gets dark in the middle of the parkway mm-hmm. during the event due to the foliage. So they want to make sure that there are no persons that were left behind that might be injured. They want to make sure there's no dangerous items that were left behind, any obvious pieces of evidence. Um, that's the type of thing they're doing right now to make sure that this is a, a, a unbelievably huge crime scene. Um, so they're locking it down. They're making sure that nobody is within the crime scene and there's no one that needs help from the police. Um, and if any, any t- anything that could be considered evidence um, they're, they're going to stop. They're going to mark it and no, notify detectives uh, of its location. But I mean, this is going to take. It, this could take days to process mm. this, this crime scene. It's going to be well, Joe Sullivan. We always appreciate your insight and your expertise. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Once again, the two officers we understand will be okay. Joe Sullivan, thank, thank you so God. much.